Okay, um, I got a message from one of your classmates uh, requesting some assistance with the program project. And so I'm going to share with you um, some strategies to get that going. So you are to create a game called Guess What Number I Am Thinking. Okay, and so that's going to be uh, pretty straightforward there. Okay, so the description of the project is you have to create a computer game called Guess the Number I Am Thinking. All of the logic and commands that you need to write the program has been covered in class. So there are videos on this and you should have taken notes and a lot of the programs you've written have covered these things. If you need any help, you can ask your classmates and of course you can always contact me. Okay, the program description. The program must generate a random number between 1 and 10, and I'm going to go over that again in shortly here. Uh, number two, the program will prompt the user to guess the number that the computer generated and enter that number. And you know how to prompt a user and get input from that user. The program will evaluate the user's uh, guess to determine if it matches the number that the user generated or that the computer generated that should be I'm sorry um, if the user guessed the correct number the program should congratulate the user and prompt the user to play again or exit the program okay so I made the mistake there so this right here should be guess what the computer so the program will evaluate the user's guess to determine if it matches the number that the computer generated sorry about that okay and requirements you need to have at least four functions you need to have a function to generate the number a function to get the user's uh, guess uh, a function to compare the two numbers a function to determine if the user wants to play again okay the program should have three variables a variable to hold the computer generated number a variable to hold the user generated number and a variable to hold the play again option um, the program can have only one global variable each section of the program should contain comments the program should display the name of the game um, and the brief description when the program is run now I'm going to help you with the function the random function here so this would be the actual method that you would use to generate the random number. So I'm going to give that to you. Um, int random number. So you're going to have a variable there um, to hold the random number that the computer generates. Here we're going to uh, declare a an object of class random. So random generate number equals to random. Okay. And then here this line actually goes ahead and generates the random number. In this case, I'm sorry, in this case it's going to generate the number between 11 and 20. If I want them to generate a number between 1 and 10, I would go ahead and put a 1 here and I will put a um, an 11 here. And then this will assign that number to the variable random number and right here, all it does is writes it out to the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and test this out in a minute here. Okay. So we go to our program here. And I'm going to go ahead and create, like I said, a um, variable to hold the number. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and use a random class, declare that random. And I'm going to call that generate number equals, and then I'm going to put the new random here. Okay. Then the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to execute this program and force it to go ahead and generate a random number and assign that number to the variable here random so it's random number okay it's equal to generate 
number and dot uh, next and here I'm going to put that range of numbers 11 to uh, 20 this would be a number actually between 11 and 19 and then I'm going to go ahead and write that number to the screen okay the number generated is remember we use our concatenation operator and we place a variable random number okay I need to make sure I spelled that okay everything looks good now I'm going to go ahead and run this program and there it is the number generated is 19 okay so let's say I wanted to generate a number between 1 and 10 go ahead and change that from 1 to 11 and I will run the program and it's going to go ahead and generate a number between 1 and 10 and there it is 6 okay so this is very straightforward you can just copy this and put it into your program okay okay so you see how that works now the project description the requirements um, ask you to have this generated from the main function so we're going to leave that here but what we are, need to do next is uh, prompt the user um, greet the user prompt the user to input a number okay so we're going to go ahead and prompt the user console dot write line and we'll just, just greet the user here welcome to to guess what number I am thinking okay so this is what we're going to uh, name the program here and so you can have that here then you can uh, have another statement here that will um, kind of give a brief description of what the game is so I'm not going to write that in there. I'm going to leave that for you to, to write in there. Okay. It's going to put the shell there for you. Okay. All right. So, all right. So now we want to go ahead and prompt the user to start the game. Console dot right line. Okay. Um, to begin press enter key all right okay so you can do that or you can just simply uh, eliminate that and just uh, in the method where you get the user's number you can just prompt the user to input the number okay so let's do that one okay so let's tidy this up a little bit okay so this section here um, generates number random number Okay, this here is just a greet greeting. Okay, and so here we've already generated the number, and so but what we want to do next is actually get the number from the user. So we need to create a function that we're going to call get user number. okay all right so to invoke that I need to have a statement here and just remember you need to invoke that we've done that before I'm not going to give you that but you should be able to know how to do that so here we're going to go ahead and uh, 
eight line. And you'll just say, hey, enter a number between one and ten. You've seen this before. And remember, you need to have a method here or a command here to get input. Okay, now we want to make this variable a global variable. So let's go ahead and make this a global variable here. Integer user number. Okay, so we'll make that a global variable and that's not correct. I need to go ahead and put public static. Okay. All right. So the, here we are with that. That goes there. And so you know how to get that. And then you're going to go ahead and need to uh, write a command to invoke the method that's going to compare the numbers. Okay, and so this is what we'll do, call that with the capital C, okay? And I did that the wrong way. I want this actually to be the random number. I want random number to be the global number variable, okay? And, and the reason why is because we're going to go ahead and I just... We're just going to pass one argument, not two. So we'll just do it this way. So you're going to get the user's number, and you're going to invoke the method to compare the numbers here. Okay? And so this is what you're going to do. You're going to type, I'm going to go ahead and give this to you compare numbers. And here, you're going to need to pass the user number. Let's make sure we define that user number. You need to fill in the blank here. And I'll, uh, you should be able to figure that out. And we're going to pass as an argument user number. And we're going to go ahead and make that method. We have an error there because I have not uh, declared that method yet. Public static void. OK, compare numbers. Okay, and that will error will disappear. Now, um, one thing you need to make sure you need to do is you need to have something to receive that number. Okay, and I guess I'll go ahead and fill that in for you. Int user number. Okay, so that has gone away. I have compared number and why is this error here compare numbers did I spell everything right user number I did that and okay so um, when we use it here it, 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 it'll be okay because right here it's just saying that we have not assigned a number to it. So when you go ahead and write the command to get the number from the user and you use it here, that will go away. Okay, so here you're going to write the logic for the if-then statements to compare the numbers. I use if statements to compare numbers. And then you can have one final method or function, and that's going to be the one that will ask the user if they want to play again. And I've given you the shell. You should be able to implement the program here. And that should be everything you need. Um, go ahead and work with that today. And as you have issues, please contact with me. Please contact me. Um, but everything you've done to this point, you should be able to uh, figure out how to do this. Okay, so good luck on that, and have a good day.